What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to fix the problem when your connected external monitor is not showing up or not responding on macOS Ventura. This should be quite an easy tutorial. For more information, click on the first link in the description below. First, after connecting your external monitor, click on the Apple icon on the top left of your screen and select System Settings. Your settings might look a bit different on your Mac. Navigate to the Software Update section and download the latest update before restarting your Mac. This can, in a lot of cases, already fix external monitor issues with your Mac. When this is done, navigate to the Display section of your settings. Select the correct display and below, change the resolution if you need to. Your external monitor might not show your Mac screen because the resolution is wrong. Set the Use As option to extended display and preview the resolution when hovering over these boxes. In my case, setting this option to more space has helped fix issues with my external monitor. Below, set the color profile option to the name of your connected monitor. Disable the High Dynamic Range option for the display and set the rotation option to standard. Next, for laptop users, navigate to the battery section of your settings and set the low power mode option to never. If your monitor is still not showing up, then leave it connected to your Mac and put your Mac to sleep before waking it back up. This has helped connection issues with external monitors for a lot of users. You should also prevent background applications from running when troubleshooting external monitor issues. Quit all apps that you currently don't need to be running, especially full screen applications that should be closed for now. Lastly, make sure that your monitor is not faulty. Change the power and USB-C or displayed port cable to see if this problem is hardware related. You can also try connecting it to a different Mac or PC to troubleshoot any further issues with your monitor. In case you have any further issues or problems following this tutorial, then I suggest following my extensive guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out, leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.